Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of We On E Club with me, Alison Lagrange. This week, we look at all the Indian celebrities who have journeyed the world of politics. Decode the details of the Indian movie Crew as it hits screens and find out the most interesting facts about birthday girl Lady Gaga. So grab a bucket of popcorn and get ready for an entertaining ride. Who doesn't like glitz and glamour in politics? Which is the case with the current political scenario in India, as Kangana Pranat and Arangoval make their electoral debut this election season. We take a look at all the Indian screen celebrities who turned politicians in the past. Let's begin with the first celebrity who was linked to politics. In the 1950s, Prithvi Raj Kapoor was the first person from Indian cinema to be elected to the Rajya Sabha. The thespian was nominated for eight years. M.G. Ramachandran or M.G.R. was a member of the Congress till 1953 before he joined the Dravida Munetra Kadagam DMK. He later floated the All India Anna Dravida Munetra Kadagam AIADMK. MGR served as Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu for 10 years between 1977 and 1987. But before he died, MGR introduced another Tamil celebrity to politics, his protege Jaya Lalitha. A film icon in Tamil Nadu, Jaya Lalitha was Chief Minister of the state for over 14 years, serving six terms between 1991 and 2016. Next on the list is Hindi cinema's Shehenshah, Amitabh Bachchan. In 1984, Bachchan took a break from acting to win the Lok Sabha elections from Allahabad. But after facing allegations in the Beaufort scandal, he resigned and vowed to never enter politics again. But his wife, Jaya Bachchan, remained one of the most active parliamentarians. Currently a Rajya Sabha member, this 75-year-old actor turned politician had 82% attendance in the upper house between 2009 and 2024. This is far above the national average when it comes to participation in parliament. Jaya Bachchan has not missed a single setting of parliament since the monsoon session in 2023. Jaya Bachchan's co-star and another celebrity who remained active in politics till he passed away was Vinod Khanna. The actor was a member of parliament from the Gurdaspur constituency from 1998 to 2009 and 2014 to 2017. In his tenure as an MP, Khanna held many positions, including Minister of Culture and Tourism. Khanna was also a Minister of State for External Affairs and member of the Standing Committee on Energy. Loved by all, when Vinod Khanna passed away in April 2017, the ruling BJP declared a one-day mourning for the actor. Speaking of yesteryear stars, Hema Malini is another successful actor turned politician. She's been part of both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha as a BJP representative. She currently represents the Mathura constituency in the Lok Sabha. Sanjay Dutt's father and an actor himself, Sunil Dutt, joined the Congress party in 1984. He was elected as Member of Parliament from Mumbai. Sunil Dutt served as Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports from 2004 to 2005. Another actor who served the nation as a Union Minister is Chiranjeevi. The South Star was Union Minister of State for Tourism with independent charge from 2012 to 2014. In his tenure, he unveiled several initiatives to promote tourism across the length and breadth of the country. He also brought in many improvements in the bureaucratic processes to ease travel and procedures. A superstar actor in South India, Kamal Hassan, formed his political party Makkal Nidhi Mayam in 2018, but achieved no success. Cut to 2024, the actor has decided to stay out of the upcoming general elections and instead campaign for the DMK-led alliance in Tamil Nadu. Just like Kamal Hassan, Rajini Kant also tried his hand at politics. In 2017, he formed the political party Rajini Makkal Mandram, 
but the political stint lasted only till 2021 when he dissolved the party. After that, he declared that he had no intention of returning to politics. When it comes to actors turned politicians, Smriti Irani is one of the finest examples of a successful actor and an equally successful politician. Long after she made television history with Ekta Kapoor's soap opera Kyunki Saas Bhi Kabhi Bahuti, Irani was elected as Member of Parliament from the state of Gujarat and since then she has not looked back. In the 2019 general elections, Smriti Irani defeated Rahul Gandhi in his family bastion Ameti in Uttar Pradesh. Currently, she is the Union Minister of Women and Child Development. The list goes on, from Shatru Sena to Manoj Tiwari to Ravi Kishan. There have been many stars who rose to prominence in Indian politics and there will be many more in the future. But it needs to be stressed that blessed with a mass appeal, celebrities should engage positively with politics and not make it a part-time option. Crew, the latest offering from Hindi cinema has hit the big screen. But what does the movie have in store for viewers? Find out in our next story. Three diligent friends. Geeta Sethi, in-flight supervisor. Jasmine Rana, senior flight attendant. And Divya Bajwa, junior flight attendant. Work for Kohinoor Airlines. While the air hostesses are worried about their impending Diwali bonus, little do they know what's about to happen. The three women crew, that is also the title of the movie, lands in an unexpected situation, orchestrated by someone with ulterior motives. The journey that follows is full of twists and turns and ups and downs. Titanic ki dekh le. Amir sare boaton mein nikal gaye. Duba kaun? Among the highlights of the movie is its stellar cast. Kareena Kapoor Khan, Tabbu and Kriti Sanan are in the lead roles. At a time when female-centric stories have increased in cinema, a three-female star-led Hindi movie is a welcome addition to Bollywood's list. Notably, all three actors have several OTT and big screen hits. While Karina last featured in Jani Jaan, Tabu graced the screen in Vishal Bharadwaj Khufia. Both projects released on Netflix. As for Kriti, the actor recently featured in Teri Bato Me Esa Uljajia with the leading ladies stepping into the flight attendant's uniform. Viewers get on board for a glimpse of the in-flight universe. First Cleopatra foundation hai. Time machine nahi The airlines industry might seem glamorous from afar, but that's not always the case. With its witty punchlines and light humor, the heist dramedy sheds light on the lives of the flight crew. The movie also stars actor and singer Diljeet Dosanjh as a CBI sub-inspector with sharp comic timing, while comedian Kapil Sharma appears in a special appearance. Crew also features Saswata Chatterjee and Rajesh Sharma in pivotal roles. The film is helmed by Rajesh A. Krishnan, who has previously directed Loot Case and the first season of Tripling. Over the years, Krishnan has impressed viewers with his flair for comedy. In the build-up for his movie's release, Krishnan had taken to social media to share his thoughts on his crew. He wrote, and I quote, We argued, we fought, we shot, we laughed, we shot again, we fought again, we cried and hugged each other and celebrated. They say companions in the trenches become comrades for life. Movie making is nothing short of war. Till we meet again, my beautiful comrades. End of quote. The film is backed by Rhea Kapoor, Anil Kapoor and Ekta Kapoor as producers. This is not the first time that Bollywood has offered a film revolving around the airlines industry. From Nirja and Airlift in 2016 to Runway 34 and Zameen, 
several films based on the air travel industry have hit the big screen. It now remains to be seen if Crew takes off at the box office. Uh, sir, please be seated. वो बस बोल रहा था कोई अरेस्ट की तैयारियां कर रहा है. Now to the fashion world. In an age where trends end even before they take off, bows are still reigning supreme. The hyper-feminine design has taken over runways as well as red carpets. But why have we embraced the humble bow? And how did our obsession with the flirty trend begin in the first place? We answer all this and more. The world renewed its obsession with bows in 2023. Initially, many bows started featuring on camisoles. They slowly migrated to hair accessories before making subtle appearances on bags and jewellery. It was no surprise these dainty designs dominated runways in the 2024 Fall Winter Fashion Week. And now it is safe to say we are right in the middle of the bow era. However, not many know the bow is a fashion staple dating back to ancient times. Did you know that bows can be traced back to 2600 BC? A set of Sumerian hair ribbons made of gold is displayed in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. But bows as we think of them today made an entry with the invention of the horizontal loom. Contrary to popular belief, they have been gender fluid for longer than we remember. For example, men wore it as a love lock in the 16th and 17th century. They have been also wearing various versions of the bow since Pierre Lorillard designed the bow tie as part of the modern tuxedo in 1886. The design even crossed its way to women's wear in the 1920s and 1930s, thanks to stars like Catherine Hepburn and Marlon Dietrich. In fact, the bow became a symbol of women's workplace empowerment in the 1960s and 70s. Pussy bow tops by St. Laurent and Halston made a splash after appearing on runways around this time. They were later recreated by Gucci and Balma. Not surprisingly, bows continued to dominate fashion pages in the 80s. Both Princess Diana and Madonna, two of the biggest fashion icons of the 80s, were loyal fans. They both showcased the power of the humble bow with their unique take on it. Cut to 2024, bows are everywhere. Brands have started to experiment with the style of the runways as well. Chipova Lovina is subverting the feminine motif to challenge people's perceptions about what it means to be female. From tartan ribbons on chunky knitwear to bows on denim skirts, Lovina has tried it all. Other names like Kie Ninomia and Kiko Costa Dinov are also playing with bows. While Ninomia is crafting bondage-style tops out of heavy-duty black rope, Costa Dinov has been pairing unconventional styles together. Their bow-embellished boots and trainers have become a cult favourite. But how did the bow end up on everyone's wish list? Well, it started because of the girlification of everything. From girl math to girl dinner, these trends pushed hyper-feminine fashion into the limelight once again. The rise of coquette core, a flirty and delicately feminine aesthetic centered on frills, lace, mini skirts, corsets and of course bows is one of the major factors behind bows popularity. Interestingly, they have also drawn criticism for hyper-sexualizing innocence. However, it's not the first time ribbons have caused controversy. Bows were slammed for being a symbol of outrageous wealth in the 18th century as well. But some designers claim that their intention of using the flirty design is not that deep. Sometimes, bows are just silly and a fun way of expressing creativity.
Known for her image reinventions and versatility, Lady Gaga is one of the most loved celebrities. Even if you call yourself a little monster, as fans of the singer famously do, you probably don't know everything about the birthday girl. But worry not, we have got you covered. Did you know that Lady Gaga's real name is Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata? Shocked? Well, it's true. The singer turned actor was born Stephanie Germanata on March 28, 1986. Interestingly, her stage name is inspired by the British rock band Queen and their hit song called Radio Gaga, which came out in 1984, just two years before Lady Gaga was born. You might know Lady Gaga for her singing skills, but did you know she is an incredibly talented piano player? She began playing piano when she was only four years old. By the age of 13, the singer had written her first song. Lady Gaga began performing at open mic nights at the age of 14. And there's been no looking back for Gaga ever since. It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. Synonymous with words. Style. Power. Many would remember Lady Gaga playing the role of Patrizia Reggiani in the 2021 release House of Gucci. She started acting when she was a teen. The singer was in an episode of The Sopranos when she was just 15 years old, which was one of her earliest television appearances. In the hit HBO show, she was credited with her real name. Stephanie Germanotta. Lady Gaga has always been known for her bizarre style. While some find her dressing sense outlandish, others love her drastic transformations. But no matter how well you know the singer's style statement, no one can ever forget the meat dress she wore at the 2010's MTV Video Music Awards. Made out of raw beef, the dress cost Gaga less than $100. It wasn't an expensive outfit because the meat that was used wasn't high quality and there were no expensive cuts of steak on the outfit. There was a flank steak that was on her head, but overall, the steaks weren't worth much. And all this in the name of fashion. Believe it or not, Years ago, Lady Gaga was often confused with Amy Winehouse, curtsy her naturally brown hair. It was at that moment that Gaga began to dye her hair blonde because she didn't want to be confused with someone else and wanted to be her own person. Mother Monster, as she is fondly known, has often talked about her personal struggles. But in 2017, the Born This Way singer revealed that she had fibromyalgia. It is a long-lasting disorder that causes pain and tenderness throughout the body. But she is not alone. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, fibromyalgia affects about 4 million adults in the US or 2% of the country's adult population. While there is no cure for the disease, little monsters love Lady Gaga exactly the way she was born. Mm -hmm. 